What it do, man? It's your boy, Battle Truth. Coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. So, ARP took to social media, Twitter, man. And a lot of people speaking about whether he's been to resign from battle rap and step down and, you know, talk just going around. But what was it that he did on social media? So he went to social media and he just put up a statement and said, I lost the love of this, you know? I lost the love of this. So a lot of people speculating that's his way of saying he done. He, he want to just step away. I can get that. I understand. He's been doing it for a long time. He stacked up a whole lot of money. He see all the fakeness that go on in battle rap. How many people then ran off with deposits of his? How many people no show battle? How many people then, you know, the the blocking the battles of the URL, the lawsuits they putting in, in on him, and you know, I mean, the game is fake. Let's just keep it real. The game is fake. The people involved is fake from top to the bottom. It's not only, it's not only the leagues. It's not only the battle rappers, it's a lot of, if not only a lot of the bloggers, it's also a lot of people in the community. I get it. It's a lot of people in the community too. And that's sad, man, because for the majority of majority of battle rap, this is like 90% guys. It's like 90 something percent guys. Battle rap. Battle rap is not a female sport. This is like 90 something percent guys. And it's sad to see as men. This is where we at and why we fail so much, why we lose so much, especially when it comes to black folks, man. We is sad, man, as a people. We can't be trusted. We disloyal. We some haters. We don't want to see each other shine at all. We is terrible as a people, man. This is so shameful. It makes no sense at all. The things that people actually find themselves doing all the time, man. So I get, I get, I get it. And when you in this situation, you done made so much money because according to him, he made a lot of money. He said, hey, I made a lot of money in battle rap. I believe it. You able to continue to book Mook and Hitman Holler for over a hundred something thousand dollars, you definitely making some money. Especially when you got two other partners to split it with. Down the middle, Lawrence in Shotter. So I, I know you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely making some money. I get that. And if you're making money like that, you probably just want to venture off into new things with less headaches, man. With less headaches. Especially when you see, again, how fake it is. And I know that ARP loved this game. I can tell he loved this game. Because it wasn't only that he was making money, but he tried to always do different new things for battle rap. If you look at his cards, they had a thing to it that meant something. It wasn't like the URL and how they just throw cards and it don't mean nothing. Remember they throw the survival series cards card? What did that mean? What do the survival series mean? What do that mean? Does somebody lose and move up? Does somebody get eliminated? And what what What's the purpose of it called the survival series? What was the purpose of that? What was the pur purpose of resurrection? What was the purpose of ascension? What was the purpose? What's the purpose of them cards? Like, they just have names. No. He would put together, like, closure, grudge matches. You get what I'm saying? Real grudge matches, the people who actually really, so the cars had a meaning to them. He would do things like that when something was on the line. He would always try to find ways to just be creative. And one thing else I like about him, you never knew who he was bringing out of retirement. So I know the man loved the game. And I know the man actually you know, cared, man. The man didn't just start out of league on it. He started out attending events and figured that, you know, 
he could be a blessing and help to other people. And we know the history of so many people betraying that man, crossing him out, people who he didn't rock with for years and looked out, out for when the URL didn't want nothing to do with them. And they sold it. They sell that boy. Shots out to show off. Hold on. Yeah, show off. Shots out to show off. I had to make sure I was getting the name right. Shots out to show off who, for the most part, stayed down. Shots out to Ill Will. Not that the U, not that ARP don't mind. ARP don't mind them going to URL to get money. But the only problem is going to the URL. I mean, they trying to strip you from me. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Something just not for sale. I'm sorry. Something just not for sale. And principle and integrity should mean a lot. But these guys don't got it, man. These guys don't got it. Man, I couldn't imagine somebody doing that to somebody I'm cool with. Like I couldn't, I couldn't be on RBE, and then the URL noticed me. Then want to say, "Hey, you come over here. We are gonna offer you a bigger deal. Do that." But you can't battle over there no more. No, you can't do that. I can see you want to offer me more money. I can see you want to offer me. A <laughs> I can see you want to offer me a better deal. But it's not going to be at the expense of cutting this man off when that man been there for me. With this the platform I've been uh, 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 rapping on. And the only reason why you taking notice of me because you see how good I'm doing on this platform. And now you want me to... Don't talk to... See, I, me personally as a man, I would find that disrespectful. Dude, don't talk to me like I'm some type of whore. I'm a man. And what you asking me to do is what men don't do. That man is my friend. I have a relationship with him. And I'm pretty sure if you own the business, you wouldn't want me doing that to you. You wouldn't want me coming over there doing that to you. Now, I would tell you this. If you appreciate what I do and you respect my talent, just like Mook and Lux them and Hollow them could go where they want, I can promise you this. If you sign me up for a battle, I would be my best. I would be my best. I promise not to disappoint. I will continue to be who I am. But you cannot tell me. I have to end my relationship with the guy who was there for me when you wasn't. You're not going to tell me that. And if you can't respect that, then now I got to question you as a man. Because I see this ain't even about me. Now this is your hate for him. So you just want to use me as a result of trying to prove something to him as though anything he 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 cool with a close to you could take away like a whore. No, I'm not going to let you play me like that. I'm not going to let you play me like that. You got the wrong guy because I'm not the one. I don't need nothing from you. So I can see how the man feel. And I can see how he probably want to change and want something new. Too much fake stuff, man. Too much fake stuff. Got to pay lawyers to put in lawsuits. Too much. Too much, man. Don't know who to trust. All these people out for themselves. Sad. But it's life. But it's life. The Bible say, Cursed is the man who put his trust in another man. Can't trust no man. Trust no man but God. And that's why when God came into the world as the person Jesus, the second person in the Trinity, he lived the life and was an example for us of how we supposed to live. That's what a real true king and leader do. He don't command his subjects to do something he's not willing to do. That's real leadership. So, I can see and I understand. That's terrible. All the lies, all the gang people playing. Now, it wasn't clear that he said he not going to 
throw events no more, but he just said, I, I, I lost the love for this. I lost the love for this, and I get it. Too much betrayal, too much snaking, too much backstabbing, too much envy, too much strife, too much contention, too much fakeness, too much disloyalty. These people sell their souls for nothing, man. These people will sell their soul for nothing. And it's just not, it's just not cool. So I feel them. I can relate to them. I understand, bro. I understand you clearly. And I sympathize with you, bro. Don't let these people break you down, though, man. If you need to get away so you could be more relaxed and free, Man, leave these problems alone, man. Enjoy your wife. If you got kids, enjoy your children. Man, enjoy your life, man. Take your money. Make smart investments, man. This game is always open for you if any time you want to come back. But, bro, if you need to relax, man, then, man, love your wife. Appreciate that woman. I don't know if you even married. But I hope if you, you were any woman you've been with for a few years, do the right thing, man. Marry that woman. Trust in God, man. Tomorrow I ain't promised to nobody, ARP. I'm keeping it real. The real, true God. Not none of that fake stuff. Get to know who he is. Y'all brothers be knowing. That be killing me. Y'all brothers look into everything else, but you never look into the living God. You can break down the history of rap and cards and jewelry and athletes and all this stuff. But when it comes to God, just don't care. But then everybody in life going to always need him. Gonna always, you're going to need him. That's one of the saddest things to do. Go out, go out of this world without ever having a relationship with God. You live the wasted life. Imagine if I was God, I gave you life, and you spent your whole life not caring who I am, not wanting a relationship with me, only for you to die, and then you got to stand in front of my judgment. Now you want to get to know me. No, that's fake. That's fake. And it really just show how ungrateful and unappreciative you was your whole life on my planet, eating my food, breathing my air, drinking my water, destroying my creation, having sex with all these people I made and created, destroying and polluting and lying to everybody I made and created. And I was still willing to forgive you. And I still wanted a relationship with you. And you just ignored it. Only for you to die suddenly and now we supposed to be cool. No, that's fake. We get to know God now. And the relationship continues after. So if you want to step away, step away. And take the time out to get to know who the real true God is. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in that, grow strong and grow wise value and appreciate life. Know who you are and what's your purpose of why God made and created you. And I guarantee you, bro, you ain't gonna never be the same if it's true. Don't be fake. Be real. Share with your family. Or else you will end up suffering yourself. Because we have a real live enemy that hates us. The devil is real. That's a real entity. That's a real spirit who hates your guts. And even now, while I'm speaking to you and you listening, wherever you at, he's working on killing you. So I'm trying to tell y'all, brothers and sisters, man, wake up. Wake up. Shouts out to you, ARP, if you decide to leave. We just want to commend you on all the hard work you put in, man, over these years and all the opportunities you help brothers to actually get to provide for their families and loved ones. For all the times you had to humble yourself, for all the times you had to give us game and teach us about a lot of the business and battle rap that goes on behind the scene, because you definitely did that a few times. For all the good things you did, for just having a, a, a good, genuine intent of wanting to be a stand-up guy, man, to the best of your ability that you knew. And I'm able to recognize and understand that even though you don't know who the one true real God is, but I'm able to still recognize 
that what you did know, you tried to do right by. And that goes a long way when it ain't so many people that willing to sacrifice and give and actually build on things like that. So I commend you on that, brother. And I just want to say, wherever you are, may the spirit of the Lord be with you. May you come to the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May you live and have eternal life. And that's what I say to you, bro. That's the greatest gift and words of encouragement I can ever give you. And at the end of the day, that's what matter the most. Not what people think and say about you, but what God say about you. That being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. Make my judgment ask some questions. It's yours. <laughs>